Welcome to this edition of Bedroom Forensics. Now, before we get started, full disclosure, I am not into movies and barely television shows. And by the time I've come across something, it's been around for probably forever and no one cares and no one wants to talk to me about it. So I have to go and find my own fan club on Reddit and other subs. But what's got me to talk about this is because I kept seeing Army Hammer's name across loads of the threads and subs that I went to. I had to Google him. Then I looked through his back catalogue and honestly, I still don't know who he is, but he did catch my attention for his odd behaviour and it, whether it's true or not. Now, I'm not going to go into his supposed cannibalistic tendencies or any of his interests. I'm going to talk about his Finster account, the supposed secret Instagram account, which shows him taking drugs. And even though he's got to do random drug tests he's been taking hallucinogenic drug dmt because apparently that can't be identified now why would you need to upload any nefarious dealings anywhere at, even at so much on a public forum like instagram which is owned by the beholder of all data facebook just bonkers but whether or not his finster is real it's neither here nor there having a finster or fake instagram has become pretty darn popular and it's not just among celebs. For the past couple of years, teens and Gen Zers have two pages, a regular Instagram page where they can share their filtered highlight reels of their lives and their fake Insta, Finsta, where they're private. They can share their moody selfies or memes or boring content, which is probably just the content that's on my normal Instagram. Because apparently it gives these young people an online profile but with less pressure to be perfect. According to a 2015 study by Katerina Loop, Lyra Rutrub and Lisa Rosenthal, Cyberpsychology, Behaviour and Social Networking, the study looked at Instagram and they found that people constantly compare their lives to strangers. And there was a correlation between the amount of strangers you follow and depressive symptoms, including fearfulness, loneliness or fatigue. Now, looking at this study itself, it does seem quite strange how you get so depressed and focused on a stranger's picture when you yourself edit your own posts. Can you not, do we not think outside of our own little world that maybe when you're putting up fake edited and curated pieces that somebody else might too, we're getting upset and lonely and, and jealous and always looking into ourselves. And it's something that maybe it's time we need to reconsider. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. Let me get back to my point. Many people have said that Finsters are positive so that you can have these two lives and pick and choose what you show to the world. As I said, whether it's the edited and curated beautiful pictures or maybe your strong cheese fetish. So why do we all do it? Well, as with everything, there are negative aspects. Having fake accounts can lead to trolling and cyberbullying. With no account ownership and no details, Finsters give bullies the perfect chance to troll without consequences. You can go into a random account and just tell them how ugly they look or that you want them to kill yourself or anything and nothing can be chased back to you without a lot of effort with IP addresses and so on and so forth. And Finsters are also hard to find. So that means that they don't have real checks on them. There's no authority or parents to control the type of accounts, which is especially dangerous for young children. Obviously, this leads to a lot more than potential bullying because Finsters serve as a space to be your true you. And that can be a problem. And especially if you have no other way of expressing yourself. For young people, there is a fine line between what they post and their mental health. So if they're posting about self-harm or emotional abuse on an account that's secret, who's there to notice? And the impact of feeling ignored in this cyber world can seep into the real world, and it is a huge worry. Also, as a reminder to anyone under the age of 30, the internet is forever. Many Finsters hold explicit content as teens use them as anonymity to hide from parents, authorities and schools. So they end up posting images 
of what we old folk would call sexting. They also post drugs, taking drugs, taking drinks, all their exploits, thinking that there's no consequences. But there always is. As we're seeing now with Army and some of his celeb friends, it's not always super secret. Sometimes those pictures will come back to haunt you and could destroy your future. There's a student at the University of Alabama who got expelled because of her finster that went viral. So really do be careful. You're not gonna put a fake Instagram and suddenly be free and from the rest of the world from abuse and bullying. So realistically, there is a, a real moral here because Finsters can be super positive, but you really need to think hard about what you need from a fake Instagram. If your real life page gets you down, then isn't it time to come off it? Also, if you really need to have two separate lives because you're overwhelmed to be perfect or you're searching those perfect pictures, then that's also something that you really need to reflect on and whether you want this as the path for you. Just remember, I think that we are all perfect in our own way. So, until next time.